Hey guys, Mr. Rob here. Just thought I'd take a few minutes to show you guys how to properly put your belts on. Um, for parents, this is a good way you can help your kids make sure that their belts are put on properly. This way they're not falling off in the middle of the class. Teaches kids a little bit of self-discipline, a little bit of respect for their belt and their art. Um, and it's just an a important thing to know how to do. Um, when you start out as a white belt, of course, maybe the belt won't be tied perfectly, but by yellow belt, we really expect those belts to be tied um, the right way. Um, the way our belt ranking goes, we start with white belt, then we move to yellow belt, green belt, blue belt, red belt, then we have a red black belt, and then for junior black belt uh, training, our black belt gets turned upside down, um, so the black is on the top and the red would be on the bottom. And then we go into our junior black belt um, for ages 16 and under, and then over age of 16, we go to our, our normal black belt. So um, a lot of belts to kind of give you goals to set on your way up towards your black belt. The black belt's really not your ultimate goal because from there, many people go on to continue to learn. Martial arts becomes a lifestyle and it's something that you can continue to do, um, teach back to others um, like I've been lucky enough to do and um, you know, just kind of make it part of your life for uh, as long as you, you wish to. Uh, but it really becomes part of you the more that you do it. But so I'm gonna show you how to tie the belt. So first of all, you wanna make sure that you even up the belt. So you wanna make sure you kind of start from the center, all right? So both sides are hanging down evenly. I'm gonna take the center of the belt and bring it around my waist and bring both sides back to the front. Now from here, what'll happen is there'll be an overlap, if you can see it. Um, so the way that I go about getting rid of that is I slide my fingers around and I bring that overlap to the front. Now once I get here, I'm going to take that part of the belt and just bringing it, bring it underneath so that the whole belt is flat, so that overlap disappears. So now I have this belt coming over top from the left and the other part is underneath. I'm going to take the top part of the belt and I'm going to bring it underneath both sections of the belt and just pull it a little bit snug. Now I'm going to turn both in towards the center so that they're staying nice and flat and I'm not twisting it all up. The top one is going to go over the bottom one and it's going to continue to go through the center of the hole that you're making right there of the loop. Then I'm going to pull it tight, give it a good pull like that and my belt should have a nice loop on it that looks like this. So one more time, I'll show you a little closer here. I'm going to even up my belt, bring it around my waist, slide across the top part of the belt until that loop comes all the way to the front. I'm going to take the bottom part of the belt and pull it down through so it's all nice and flat right there. Top part of the belt is going to come under both sections. I'm going to pull it together, bring that top part of the belt around, keeping it nice and flat. Okay, That top part continues through the, whole, the loop. You can see the shape I'm starting to make and I pull it nice and tight so it's not going to fall off in the middle of my class or worse when I'm in the middle of a sparring match. And this is my belt from 1998. It's my Karate Hall of Fame belt with my name on it and I've been wearing it since 1998. So don't lose your belt. Know where it is all the time. You're in charge of your belts. Learn how to put it on the right way and I'll see you in class.